Welcome to the latest episode on financial crisis. Today, we'll be discussing the most recent events in the banking sector, starting with the collapse of four banks in just six short weeks. Ever since the failure of Silicon Valley Bank UK, JP Morgan has stepped in to purchase most of the collapsed lender First Republic in a whopping $10.6 billion deal. What does this mean for the banking world and can another global financial crisis be right around the corner? HSBC's chief executive Noel Quinn has denied the possibility of a fresh banking crisis, attributing the recent failures to simply poor risk management. He had this to say, We do not believe that there is a global banking crisis on the horizon. We think there are some challenges that have been evidenced in some of the regional banks in the U.S but we do not believe that systemic in the US or across all banks. As for the new takeover, JP Morgan's move is part of regulators' efforts to draw a line under lingering turmoil across the banking sector. With the takeover of First Republic, HSBC has seen its profits triple to an astounding $13 billion in its first quarter. So what accounts for this huge profit increase? It's a combination of factors including higher interest rates, the reversal of plans to write off $2.1 billion linked to the now uncertain sale of its French business, the rescue of Silicon Valley Bank at the cost of just £1 billion, and of course Noel Quinn's own policies. With tons of money rolling in, HSBC has announced its first quarterly dividend since before the COVID outbreak, as well as plans for a $2 billion share buyback. The move is part of efforts to appease shareholders, including its largest investor, Pingin, who are calling for a spin-off of its more profitable Asian business, and are holding a vote on the matter at HSBC's annual general meeting in Birmingham this week. So, what is on the agenda for HSBC and its investors in the coming days and weeks? Keep watching to find out our opinions. And before we conclude, we must also acknowledge the fact that HSBC employees have and will be affected by these recent events, notably those in the Silicon Valley Bank. We hope for the employees' sake that things turn out well. That's it for this edition of Financial Crisis. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you all soon.